The church in Mexico has taken new strides in the fight against sexual abuse. From now on, it will collaborate with the SNAP Mexico organization. Cardinal Carlos Aguiar explained why the decision was made. Conociendo Hearing the accounts of the victims themselves helps us understand these circumstances or conditions that favored the pedophile's actions. Effectively, it's the right path to be better informed on the circumstances we must avoid and address to be able to prevent cases and not wait until they happen to act. In Mexico, organizations of abuse victims had been very critical of the church. Cardinal Aguillard explains the goal of this synergy with the Survivors Network is learning to detect potential abuse. When we get to this point, I think we will be able to join protocol and precautions that, given that they've suffered as victims, they know we have to be attentive to. According to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, Mexico has the highest number of cases of sexual abuse, physical violence, and homicide involving those under the age of 14. By engaging this dialogue between abuse victims and the church, Cardinal Aguillar is sending a strong message to all of society. He promised a zero-tolerance policy and hopes the church will be a pioneer in the fight against abuse. This initiative was well received by other abuse victim groups like SNAP in the U.S., traditionally very critical of the church. In a press release, the organization said any project in favor of those affected by abuse is welcomed. However, it also reminded that it is not affiliated with SNAP Mexico, and for the time being, it will not follow the Mexican group's example of reaching agreements with the church.